Hi friends, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan and today I'm going to tell you about one of the scariest books I have ever read in my life. Are you ready? Let's go. I don't really read scary books. I don't like to be scared. It is like one of my least favorite experiences. I don't get excited about that. But for some reason, I read Kenneth Appel's Bloom and it was terrifying, completely terrifying. Like the first few pages, it's not terrifying. And then it gets really scary and stays terrifying for me the whole rest of the book. So it is the story that takes place off the coast of Vancouver. Uh, follows the, I guess, three teenagers. I think they're freshmen in high school. The book, it does say middle grade on the back. Uh, I would say probably middle school, maybe some fifth graders uh, up through high school and adults who like to be scared. I don't know why you want to be scared. Um, but it follows these three kids. Uh, one of the girls is allergic to like everything. She breaks out, like her eyes get swollen shut from her allergies. She's pretty miserable. And then another one of the girls is like, breathtakingly gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Uh, she, however, is allergic to water, crazy. And then this boy who is living in foster care and he's bounced around foster care, doesn't really fit in, just loves to be kind of in his sketchbook. Um, okay, so we're following these three characters throughout the book. The book switches points of view throughout, brilliantly done, good job, Kenneth, you're amazing. Uh, and one day uh, it starts to rain and it's raining and the one girl who's allergic to water, obviously rain is not great, but somehow she gets like hit with the water and she finds she's not allergic to it. So she's like filling all of these water bottles because she wants to like have this water that she can actually touch and not break out and be miserable. So she gets all of that. And then like the story continues and then the next day, the girl who is allergic to everything is, is feeling a little bit better and a little bit stronger and feeling pretty darn good. And the girl who's allergic to water is like, you know, she can have, she has these bottles of water. Uh, and, but they do notice within a couple of days that these plants start to grow, these big, nasty black plants. Like they grow like four feet in a day. Like they grow so much. And, uh, so they're like chopping them down, but then they just grow right back and then they start to spread and they're like everywhere. Okay, I need to calm down. There's just, it's just, this so intense. Um, and then come to find out when it rained, it rained everywhere, like on the planet. And these black plants are coming up everywhere and they're spreading and there's worry of them taking over crops and they're becoming a food shortage. And they notice that in the water bottles that the girl had, uh, that there are like seeds germinating in these water bottles. I don't wanna give away too much, but the book gets wild, wild. And that those three characters, the, the allergies start to go away in the one girl who's allergic to everything. And, and these three kids are like different and having different effects. They're, they're, things are happening differently from them than everyone else as a result of these plants. And I didn't see what was coming coming I don't know if that makes sense, but I was blown away. I was shocked. I was captivated. I didn't like being scared, but I also liked it at the same time. It was a weird feeling. I'm not sure how I feel about that feeling. Uh, but Bloom is going to be a book that kids are going to love. They are going to be completely, completely captivated from cover to cover. They're going to just just be super anxious for book two. They might even have nightmares about book one. It's that good. So if you are looking for edge of your seat, wild, intense, amazing book with twists and turns that you will not expect to see coming, check out Bloom by Kenneth Appel. You will be thinking about it long after you turn the page. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you find value in this. I hope that this is a book that you might want to check out for your readers. Have a wonderful day and happy, happy reading.